Hey, what's going on? Welcome to God of Honeybees podcast. This is episode two, and it's mainly going to serve as a update on what kind of content um, I'm trying to get to you and where you can get it and what to expect moving forward. It's early morning. It's right before work starts, so I'll try to be as clear and concise as possible, but I'm still drinking coffee, so if I stumble, if I say ums, if I got to backtrack, you'll have to excuse me. The main thing I wanted to get across was that I've got an email list ready. So if you go to godofhoneybees.com, the website is now live. If you go on there, it's super simple to sign up for the email list. And that email that'll come out maybe twice a month, I'm not going to bombard your inbox. It's only when I've got information that I think is going to help you move through your day or I think it's a really interesting idea that I, I think needs to be shared. If you go to the website, it's super easy to sign up for that email list. Now, what's going to be in the email? Well, the podcast going forward are are extensions of the work I'm doing on the book. So if you didn't know, I am working on a book under the same title, The God of Honeybees. It's real close to being complete, ready for rounds another round of edits with my editor, Patience Ullman of 29pilgrims.com. I highly recommend her website and all the work that she does. Um, but as I'm working on this book, I'm coming across a lot of really great information, a lot of ideas I've never heard of before, um, and not all of it fits in the book in the way that makes sense, but I still want, in the same way I want to share the information that's in the book, which is why I wrote a book, I want to share this other information with you. So the podcast episodes are going to be extensions of that work that I'm doing in the book. So each episode will kind of dive deeper into maybe like a book that I'm referencing in my book or an online article, whatever it might be. If it doesn't fit into the book in a way that makes sense or if there's more information about it than I can put in my book, I'm going to make an episode about it because I think it's something that you might benefit from hearing about, you might find entertaining or interesting or whatever it might be. So I'm going to make YouTube the main outlet for the podcast because I want to do it video based. I just really like that idea. It'll still be available on podcast platforms as just audio. I'm also going to make it uh, have, I'm also going to do like a text version of it. I'll uh, work with uh, patients from 29pilgrims.com to edit the, the text transcription down for readability, grammar, all that kind of stuff. In case you don't have time to put in earbuds or whatever and listen to a podcast episode, if you just if you read faster than I talk, which is probably the case, and you'd rather do it that way, godofhoneybees.com is going to have under the blog tab each episode's text version, so you can just read it right there. If you sign up for the email list, that's where I'm going to attach all the links to the online articles, if that's what I'm referencing links to the books that I might be referencing. If there's a PDF that I'm allowed to just like send you through uh, an email, I'm going to do it there. Um, I'm going to make really nice looking PDF versions of the text transcription. So in case you really like the information that came across, you can just forward it right from there. Um, if you want to just save it all in a subfolder in your email for storage, you can do that too. The goal is to make it as freely and widely accessible as possible. So if you go to godofhoneybees.com, you can find links to absolutely all the content that I'm putting out. If you sign up for the email newsletter, that's where you're going to get the extra information on the sources. So if I'm referencing, say, this book um, I'm reading right now by Karen Armstrong, um, if you sign up for the email list, that's where the link to the book's going to be. Any anything that she references that I'm that I want to include in the episode, the link is going to be in that email. So that's really going to be the best way to get connected, stay connected, and up to date on all this stuff. Also, it's going to be the way I reach out to you when that book is ready. If you've liked the information that's been coming out in the podcast episodes. Um, 
the book is going to be how I've connected these ideas to try to to convey a larger message. So if you're on the email list, you're going to get notified um, as soon as that book is ready to go. Uh, what else? I did want to let you know about what to expect going forward as far as availability of the content. Um, I was talking with my dad, Eric. Um, he's the singer in the uh, lead singer, bass player in the band, Bionic Monk, set him in, and um, Brandon, our drummer. We were talking about the content we make for the band and how to make it as accessible as possible. And I was using a analogy, an analogy for um, how to think about free content. So I thought it was helpful. I want to pr uh, propose this to you. To, to understand why I'm going about the way, why I'm going about things the way I'm going about them. So if you consider, consider you have two friends. One friend, every time you meet up with them and you talk about something interesting you came across, some interesting article or interesting idea, or maybe some life experience, that you've went through and you're wanting to share with them. If every time you did that, they said something like, oh yeah, I just read a whole book on specifically that, that topic that you're interested in, or I went through a similar life experience and, and I came up with some things that really helped me get through that. If you tried to engage with them and say, well, what was the name of that, that book you read? Or what were the things you came up with that helped you through that specific life experience and their response was well for eight bucks a month five bucks ten bucks a month um I'll, I'll let you know but I, but you have to sign up that way to get access to that information that's not going to do a damn bit of good because if you can't pay them that that amount of money each month you'll just do without that information right if your second friend had the opposite response where as soon as you try to engage them, they, they're right there with the name of the book, right there with the steps that they took to get through that life experience, whatever it may be. If they just engaged with you right away with all that information, that would be a much closer relationship, right? Now consider further down the road, both of them come to you at separate points and say, hey, I'm working on a project. If you might be able to swing five bucks a month, to just help me help the project stay going that would be awesome if you can't don't worry about it it's not going to change the way we interact or the way we hang out but if you happen to be in a place where five bucks a month is no big deal and you like and you like my project you think you could swing five bucks which one of those friends are you going to give the five dollars to right obviously it's the person that engages with you freely because then your interaction is not predicated on you paying, right? So that's why for this podcast, for the content I'm making, I'm not going to put it behind a paywall. Um, obviously, when the book is ready, I'll be asking you to buy the book, but um, I can't really uh, make the, a physical printed book free. I don't know how to do that. Um, but it, it doesn't cost me to make a video. It doesn't cost me to come across an idea that I think is worth sharing. It does cost to keep the website going or, you know, buy some equipment. Like I just ordered two mics to try to make some better audio in these videos and that costs some money, you know, but it's, it's a, this is a passion project. So any content that I make like this is not going to be behind a paywall. I want to craft a conversation with you. I want to craft a connection with you. This, these ideas are, it's not business ideas or anything, you know what I mean? It's like, it's just, this stuff brightens my day. This stuff engages my mind. I think it's a really great, you know, these are some really great ideas or 
it takes a con something I come across will take a concept I thought I knew and just crack it open like a coconut. You know what I mean? I just want to share that with you. And if you are interested enough in it, I'd like to hear from you because we're crafting a conversation. If I just keep producing content and no one knows about it or no one cares about it, it's a one-way conversation. Um, so that's why it's not going to be behind a paywall. Now, I am working on setting up um, a page on Patreon, and at the, initially it's just going to have one tier. It's just going to be the five bucks a month. And like I, like I said in the analogy, this is only if you feel like you can swing five bucks a month because that'll help like, you know, every year you got to renew, um, your license on the URL. Um, I use the website Weebly to make the website that has a, a monthly cost to allow me to keep using the URL that I bought. Um, so it would just help keep the lights on, you, uh, so to say. But that's, again, only if you feel like you can swing five bucks a month if it's no big deal. If you can't, don't worry about it. Because all this content that I'm making, it's like you and me are hanging out. It's like we're meeting up for coffee. I'm not going to ask you to pay me five bucks when we meet at Starbucks so that I can tell you about something I found interesting. Like, I just want to craft, craft a conversation with you about this stuff. So, to wrap things up, because I, I'm, I'm, I'm long-winded, but to wrap things up... Go to godofhoneybees.com, check out the website, you can, there's a contact tab, you can just let me know what you thought about the website, um, on YouTube, the podcast is going to be dominantly on YouTube, search God of Honeybees, you can watch all the videos there, links to those videos, godofhoneybees.com, if you'd rather listen to it in your podcast app, God of Honeybees is probably on your podcast app, if you want to read it in a distilled version, um, godofhoneybees.com under the blog tab each episode is going to be transcribed in an edited version for readability you can just read it if you want a really great looking pdf version of the transcription that you can send to your friends that you could print off that you could do whatever you want with send it wherever and you want access to the links um, to any sources that i'm referencing in the episodes sign up for the email list. It doesn't cost you anything. It's just, if you are cool with me sending you emails, that's where all that content's going to be. Um, so moving forward, godofhoneybees.com is the central hub to get access to all of that. Email newsletter is all of the extra sources that I'm diving into. And then I'll make another announcement later on once, once Patreon is up and running. Um, I'll make a video letting you know that that's, that that's accessible, how to find it, what to do. And that'll be, like I said, just if you feel like you can swing it. If not, all this content is always free. So thanks for listening to this brief episode. The next one coming down the pipeline is about using rocks to help improve our meditation practice, our morning ritual, our prayers, our liturgy, whatever it is we're doing, whatever that is that you use for your spiritual self-care I want to talk about a method of using rocks to help improve that practice so thanks for listening to God of Honeybees the podcast again you can find all the extra content on godofhoneybees.com um, you can find me on Instagram at God of, God of Bees podcast and consider signing up for the email newsletter so that I can get you all the information on the extra content that I think you might really find interesting. Thanks again.